Hello and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tumbler wrap for sublimation using Cricut Design Space. That's a mouthful. Um, so I was actually trying to create this image right here um, to put on a sippy cup. Now this is the um, shape of the tapered mug that I'm going to be using. I got this off of Heat Transfer Warehouse, which is where the sippy cup came from. They have like a PDF file template that you can use. There is a lot of back work that you have to do in order to get this into design space. Um, so we're going to go ahead and kind of get started from there. So what I did was I took the image <clears throat> that comes in a PDF file and I uploaded it. Well, I changed it. I don't, however you're going to do this, it's going to be based on whatever computer you have. So I have a MacBook Pro. And what I did was I took the image, the PDF file, and I cropped it into just the shape of what I needed. And then I uploaded that as a um, cut file into Design Space. And that's what this is. So we're going to start out with that. <clears throat> which is the exact same shape and you when you go to crop it you want to get it as close to the corners as you possibly can now this is not going to be perfect it's going to have some flaws um and depending on how OCD you are it may or may not fit perfectly so what I did was just got it as close as I could you can see here I cut off some parts of it <laughs> But it's okay um, because these seams, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger when I go to print it. Um, that way I have enough of this blue pattern to overlap if need be. No biggie. Alrighty. So we've got this and we want to make this the same size as what the PDF says, which is 10.3 by 3.5. And what I did was I hit the little unlock button up here and then I did the width and the height. Um, this is a tapered design, that's why it's curved and that's why it's important to find an actual um, template of the sublimation cup that you're trying to do if it's tapered. It can be very tricky. Right? So I'm not going to mess with this one because it literally took me forever to figure this out. So I'm just going to recreate it. So basically I have my template right and I don't want it to be black so I'm going to go over to print then cut and then I'm going to go to color pattern choose any pattern you like for this one I did this style for this one I can do this one doesn't really matter I'm keeping this guy <laughs> Any minute now. There we go. And I don't like how it separates it, um, but you can change that by going to Edit Pattern. You can make it bigger, so that way there's not as many seams. There we go. And done. There we go. Perfect. And then you're going to put your pictures in. I'm just going to recreate the same pictures, add to Canvas. They're going to come through massive. Any minute now. Come on, design space. You can do it. All right. So my pictures need to be about two inches tall. This is for a coworker. And... And then we're going to take them one by one and just kind of place them on the design wherever you want it. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the faces and the bodies at least in the pictures. 
or on the thing. Oh, no, I went this way. You'll see what I'm doing in just a second. And take this one and put it over here, move that one over there. Tilt it just a little bit. Get it in there so we're not chopping off any heads. This one we're going to make just smidgen bigger here to fit the whole thing. All right, so now you see you've got like all these extra pieces. We're going to select one by one because Design Space won't let you slice more than two items. So one by one, we're going to slice them. <clears throat> Don't move anything yet. It does take a minute. Again, one by one. Slice. Do, 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 do. Slice. <laughs> Literally forever. Sliced. All right. Now, what you're going to do is select all the extra pieces. Just over here in the top or in the right hand corner, you'll see like where the excess pieces are. You'll just delete those. There you go. And then you will go through and select each picture and arrange move forward, that didn't work, arrange, in the front, there we go, arrange, in the front, and in the front, there you go. And now you can see that if you flatten this as it is, design space is going to tell you that it is too big. That's what this little thing here says. <clears throat> too large. Reduce to blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're going to unflatten it. We're going to take a square. Move this out of the way. We're going to get a shape. I do a square. It's just the easiest one to do. And then you're going to make it about half the size of your design. I try to keep it so that it's not on a picture because you have to piece these parts together um, when you're all done. And then, oops. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's going to let me again. Hold on. I think I did it wrong, guys. I forgot how I did it. Hold on. Move this. Will it let me know? I doubt it. This is the beauty of... Nope. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I forgot how I did it. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, never mind. I did have a moment there. We're going to unflatten. Ignore me, guys. I got it. So put this over about half of your image, and then you're going to select the square. And this part up here where it says slice result, and it has just like the little, it's the only one that has the big, the little warning sign. So you're going to select those two parts. Then you're going to slice because that's the only thing that you needed to slice in order to flatten. <clears throat> so again, you're taking the square, you're selecting the square, and the only one that has that little not supported message next to it. You're going to move the square out of the way, delete that, go over here and delete the other gray pieces, and then you can take and flatten Select the half. Oh my lordy. Select the half. 
Um, and then we want to select the pictures. And then flatten that half. Oh no. Okay, whatever. For some reason there's a duplicate there. I don't know why it did that. It cut out like the back side. That's weird. We're gonna delete those. Oh no, not that. And then Lord. Flatten this side. And there you go. You have two pieces. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was weird. So you should only have two halves. Nothing extra. And then when you print it, you'll have to tape the seam together. But that's why I chose the type of background that I did. That way the seam, if it is a little wonky, it's okay. Doesn't matter. You won't be able to tell. So basically you put your template in. You put your pictures in, you slice them one by one to make them fit the template, or you can make them smaller than the template. That way you've got enough space um, and you don't have to worry about slicing. You can just flatten it. Um, but then as far as like getting it so that Cricut Design Space will print it, that's the tricky part. Um, <clears throat> I'd rewatch this video a couple of times. I do apologize that I messed up. I think I've got it now, so <laughs> you'll um, just want to rewatch it. Or actually, I'll just, we're not running that far on, that bad on time. So we're just going to go to undo a couple of things. That way I can show you how I did it again. Okay, we'll start here because this is the most complicated part, is getting it so that Design Space will print it. Okay, so we have the square. It is over half of the image that we want it to be over. But we only need to select the square and the part that has the not supported message up here. So we're gonna select that and the square. And then we're going to slice. <clears throat> Select and select and then slice. And then we wait for it to slice. Once it has sliced, you're going to remove the gray pieces, all of them, which is going to be a couple of sections depending on how you did it. And then you're going to flatten the area that you need to make it so that it's one piece. And if it did it again, which I'm assuming it did, just flatten. There you go. Voila. It's much easier when it works appropriately, right? And then when you go to put it on your design or on your blank, you will have to tape the seams together making sure that they are straight and they attach, even if they overlap. I'd rather them overlap than have like a blank white seam. So <clears throat> extended version of <laughs> how to create a template for um, a sippy cup or a tapered mug using Cricut Design Space. Um, it is a little tricky, but in the end it does work out well and it's better than taking a screenshot of this and putting it into Word and then putting it into there because this is going to have your true colors and your true um, unpixelated designs. It's just going to work out way better for you. So you can also add like wording to on here and flatten it out. Um, you can put whatever you want. Just make sure that you pay attention to that um, 9.25 by 6.75 restriction that Cricut Design Space does have. Now, if you wanted to put this into Word, you could print it out all as one, um, but I did try that and it does pixelate it and it does mess it up. So it's just easier to use Design Space because that's what I know. And if you're like me, that's what you know as well. So um, just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on something that frustrated the crap out of me. So <laughs> 
Alrighty. So until next time, my friends, make sure you like, subscribe, give me some comments. If you have an easier way of doing this, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to know. Um, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.